just how are you looking at this uh, opportunity? Uh, I'm excited, man. Um, you know, things are starting to pick up for me in, in L.A. with the Clippers. Um, you know, I don't know, fortunately, unfortunately, you know, I'm here now. Uh, you know, I enjoy my time there. You know, I've built great relationships with everybody. Um, but, you know, this team is kind of in a, in a different stage, trying to figure things out um, with the roster and the organization top to bottom. So um, I feel like I can, I'm a guy that can help, you know, in the locker room, uh, also with the culture, but just with my play on the court. Um, impacting the game on both sides. You know, I'm really excited about the opportunity I have. Can you elaborate more on what exactly went on with your hip? And, and did you have hip replacement? No. Not hip replacement. I, um, I displaced, had a hip displacement in the bubble. Um, so I ended up not playing for like 18 months because I was, I was hurt when I got traded from, Memphis, from Miami to Memphis. All right, I'll tell that. I'll tell the story. <laughs> I got hurt, like, I got hurt with Miami, got traded to Memphis February 2020. I rehabbed with Memphis. It must have been like March, late March. We actually were about to play the Trailblazers here, and then that would have been my first game. Um, then the season got canceled because of COVID. I go to the bubble. Uh, we're getting ready to, we're scrimmaging like before our first game. That's when I displaced my hip. Um, so I ended up not playing for like 18 months. Um, so yeah, that's really it. No surgery, um, just natural recovery, um, good living, a lot of praying, um, but I'm feeling good now. Was it a fall that made it? This yeah, I kind of got off balance and my, 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 my torso was bent over and my leg was out in front of me and it kind of just, just kind of cracked. You've had a lot of Nixon bruises and yeah. injuries and stuff. What, what do you make of that? Uh, it's just my role, man. It's just my journey. Uh, I just make the most of it. I stay positive. There's good days. There's bad days. But um, I've made it out the other side each time. So um, it's been a hard journey just being, you know, going from national championship to, um, you know, second team all rookie to missing most of my second year with the shoulder, fighting back, fighting back, getting extension. Um, and getting traded and being hurt, being hurt, being hurt. So um, I just fight through it, man. I, I try to have a positive outlook on everything in my life, show gratitude, uh, see the bigger picture, um, be able to zoom out. So um, I've been able to get through. Um, I'm blessed. I know the type of player I've been. Um, I've always been a, a top elite player, you know, and I, I'm just ready to get back to that level um, on both sides of the ball and help this team um, build something special here. What have they told you about what you're going to be here obviously with the way that this season is going for these guys it seems like there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to get some minutes and yeah. contribute is that kind of the impression that they've given you yeah just be myself um i'm gonna be playing a lot of different positions like i have throughout my whole career but just finding ways to impact the game continue to get better you know obviously i want to shoot the ball better and, and get those clips up um, from the three-point line um, and, and my finishing and, and my free throw percentage um, i know i'm more than capable and i think with this um, opportunity and the amount of minutes I'll be receiving that um, is something I'll be able to get accomplished. What is it? Do you get a sense that you're going to be here for the long term? Have they expressed that to you, or do you not know sort of if you could be traded in the summer? I'm here now, man. That's all you can really worry about. Um, I can't predict the future. You know, there's guys that get traded that think they're safe. There's guys that, you know, are safe that are safe. I mean, I don't, you know, so. Um, I'm just here making the most of each opportunity. I've learned just to, to be present. You know, I can't really worry about that too much, but um, everyone here seems to enjoy my presence. Uh, they, they want me here, so I'm excited about getting this thing going. Tell us about Keon. He's a little quiet. Uh, you get him to open up more, he'll talk, but uh, he's a freak athlete. Um, you know, loves to play in the mid-range. Uh, he's a hard worker. Um, you know, he's been kind of up and down with, with the G when we were back in L.A. Um, but he, he works hard, man. Unfortunately, he's had some nicks and knacks as well, but um, he's a phenomenal player, phenomenal athlete, and I think he's going to do great things. Can you, you said a freak athlete. Can you uh, recap a scene or something that stands out to you that opened your eyes? I mean, 45 inch in the, in the combine, that'll open your eyes. Uh, but just look at what he does. Uh, sorry. We're going to bleep that one out. We're all, we're all adults. Uh, no, nah, I got in trouble with the league for that oh, you did? like two weeks ago. Oh, so this is a thing. Yeah, so we're going to bleep that out. Um, no, nah, I just 
Layup lines, warm ups, practice. Um, you know, every now I wish he used it more, but every now and then he'll use it, and you'll be like, oh wow, sort of like Greg, but he's just a little shorter. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned staying at home. Were you surprised uh, from the Clippers? Like, did you feel that coming, or was that all surprised you? Or? No, I mean, uh, I think throughout the year, uh, my agent, um, you know, we had, had talks, you know, kind of going back with with L. Frank up there in in L. A. Um, but but I think they really got a, a chance to understand who I was and um, my my work ethic. Um, I really stood out to I think L. Frank and um, you know he wished that it could have worked out there, but it was kind of just a log jam. And especially next year with um, some of the things that some of the pieces they have coming back, you know, we just thought it might be best to try and find a new fit. And fortunately, you know, it worked out. Do you have relationships already with any of the guys on the team? Did you know any of them? Uh, I knew CJ a little bit, um, just being around D-Wade and some of the stuff he does, the leaning uh, affiliation there. Uh, me and Tony Snell actually worked out together like two straight months in the summer, like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. So uh, I know T. Snell pretty well. Um, I think I might have done like a photo shoot with Dane when I was back, back when I was with Adidas my early years. Um, but other than that, not really. But it, we all like to play basketball, so we all have that in common. So it's kind of easy to bond. We all have similar lifestyles, so um, it's pretty easy to to mesh with the guys. Chauncey mentioned that he made a pass, assist to Ant in your first game on a play that had not yet resulted in a layup, <laughs> and then he complimented you on your playmaking ability. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that aspect of your game? Yeah, I mean, growing up, I, I kind of just did it all. Um, I'm not LeBron, but it was almost kind of like LeBron in, in the early years in Cleveland, just um, being a bigger guard, playmaking a lot, um, whether it's a small, small pick and roll or small, big. You know, that's kind of how I grew up playing in high school um, and a little bit in college. So um, I've always been a willing passer, a willing playmaker. Um, you know, I want to be more aggressive with my, my scoring abilities and, and showcase that because I can do that at a high level as well. So. Um, I just like making plays, man, making the right play. I enjoy seeing my teammates' success and, and watching them play well. So um, I like the pass. Sean's been saying all year he wants guys to be tough, who will play defense, who will play team oriented basketball and offense. He talk about you in terms of those types of coaches. Yeah. Have, you, have you guys had conversations about him wanting you to bring to that toughness, that attitude, that dog for defense? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I kind of I, I know his his basketball history and the teams that he played on in his career and the type of player he was and, and that's kind of what it was it was um, he was a winning player and, and to be a winner you got to compete on both sides of the ball and so um, I know that's a mentality that he tries to bring to to his coaching um, and to his team so um, that's kind of who I am um, at the end of the day a, a hard nosed defender uh, making winning plays impacting the game so um, you know I think it's a great fit. And where do you want to take your scoring to? You said you want to showcase that more. What, what are we going to see? You're going to see the whole thing. A, a three-level guy, a guy that can shoot shoot the three, create mid-range, um, and, and finish at a high clipper on the basket.